hey my cuties and beauties how are you guys doing so y'all i have not done my nails since before my daughter did my mother's day set for me and i'll put it in the cards so y'all can check out her work but i need to do something with my nails because i'm tired of coming on here all naked and looking crazy and i don't need nobody talking about do she even really know how to do her own nails so today i am gonna do that for you guys but I have to make sure that I maintain my nails within military standards. Yes, this set today is all about army approved nails. So I'm gonna go in with falling down my nails and I'm gonna prep and do all of that off camera, push back my cuticles, remove that um, cuticle skin off the nail plate. I'm gonna apply these tips, then I'm gonna go in with cutting them down to the desired length, <laughs> the approved length, and then I'm gonna go in with shaping them up, adding primer, and dehydrating it and all that good stuff. But according to Army standards, um, Army Regulation 670-1, the length of my nails are not to exceed a quarter of an inch from the tip of my nails. And the only polish that I can use is clear polish. No colors, just clear. And in order to stay within standards, if I'm doing an enhancement, be it acrylic or whatever, it has to fall within those guidelines. So y'all, I've been in the Army for 17 years, two months and six days <laughs> and I have seen my share of nails so I'm not gonna get my ruler out and measure it because I can basically eyeball it and tell you what a quarter of an inch is as a senior leader if I'm not within regulation how can I impose the standards on the other females in the army so after 17 years of knowing what the standard is Y'all are not gonna see me pull out a ruler, but I can guarantee you I'm in a quarter of an inch and my nails will be in approved standards. So after getting all of the tips on, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down. And today's set is going to be with basic hard gel, builder gel. Um, you guys saw I'm gonna use that Forma gel. I'm gonna use it kind of as like a cover to kind of conceal that line from the tip that I put on. I don't really like to um, foul down the tip, like blend it too much because I don't want to damage my nail plate. You know, mistakes can happen. So I'm just blending it just a little bit and buffing up the surface of that tip so that way I can go in and lay the product. But that cover blush, Mia Secret cover blush, is to kind of mask that demarcation line a bit where they, they are showing up. So heading in with the prep and the primer, I'm gonna get that set in there. I'm gonna get some base coat on and then I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm applying the cover blush product. So I did apply two coats of each, the prep and the primer to get my nails ready. One thing I noticed about the Mia Secrets um, Pro Bond, Extra Bond, it kind of leaves a little bit of stickiness. I noticed that when I was doing my other hand. So y'all, I did my, my dominant hand off camera um, for the sake of lengthiness. Um, for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like that hand always comes out better than the non-dominant hand. Maybe because I'm being a bit more careful and I'm, I'm more you know, conscious of how I'm applying the product. But it seems like my right hand always looks better than my left hand and my left hand is my non-dominant hand. So I'm using that isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that my brush is clean. You don't have to use this to apply the product, it's just for the sake of cleaning my brush. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit and apply this like nail polish to all of the nails and I'm gonna give that a cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna come back with applying the clear, the IBD clear builder gel 
to build up the structure and the apex and all those things. So now it's the time to apply this product and build up the structure on my nails. So basically like you guys have seen before, I'm going to get a good amount on my brush and I'm going to go in like a swirling motion from cuticle to free edge, just getting that product to where I need it to be, just kind of pushing and swirling really lightly and maintaining contact with the product in my brush. And once I get to where I have just a quarter left um, to apply this product to, I'm just gonna swipe it down like I'm doing nail polish because I don't want the tip of my nail to get extra thick and you're gonna see me doing that here. So that quarter area is from the tip of my thumb to the free edge of the nail and I'm just gonna swipe it down like nail polish to save myself from creating a super thick tip. Y'all, my girls are here with me wanting to watch me do another voiceover. They promised they were going to be quiet. So <laughs> don't worry about them in the background. You'll hear them from time to time. But after swiping that down, I'm just going to flip it over. So the self-leveling properties of this Builder Gel will create that apex and that upper arch where I need it. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go in, in places where I feel or see that I need more product. And I'm going to freeze that in a lamp for 60 seconds. Now there's a couple ways that you can do the curing of this. There's two ways that I use throughout this process. You can either do like I did once I got this layer down. I did it for 30 seconds. Um, I didn't get any like serious heat spikes when I did it that way. Or you can let it run for the 90 seconds where I felt no heat spikes and then I let it cure for a full 60 seconds after that. Or if you have a bigger lamp, I have the sun LED lamp, UV LED lamp. Um, some people I've seen their lamps to where they can just, the lamp kind of emits out of the, um, the, the lamp, the light emits out of the lamp. You can just hold your hand, if you're gonna run it just for the 60 seconds, hold your hand near the outer area of it to get it to start kind of curing a little and then place it all the way into the lamp to get um, a good cure. But the thing about the 90 second um, low setting cure, just be mindful that it cures, um, it's a lower heat so it's gonna cure more slowly. So after that, you're going to have to go in with the full 60 seconds to make sure that that gel is cured properly. I wanted to get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Um, sometimes doing my nails like this is comfortable but for the most part, just laying my hands flat is the most comfortable for me. I mean, do what, what's comfortable for you. But I feel like this way right here just kind of feels awkward to me. I see a lot of people doing it, but it just feels a little awkward to me. So every once in a while, I'll do it, but it's not going to be something often when I'm doing my own nails that you guys would see. Um, so like if there's any spillage or anything, that's the reason for this alcohol that's on the side. And I'm just going to go in and clean up some that spilled over to the side which gives me that nice placement of where I want that product to stay. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back in with freezing it, getting all of these nails all nice and built up and apply product in areas that I feel like I need it. And I'm gonna come back to you guys after I have filed, shaped and buffed all of my nails.
So I did want to mention to you guys, um, these little alcohol um, swipes that I have here, I did get those from my local Dollar General and I believe it was like two bucks that I paid for it. But I do want to make note that you guys are only going to see me filing with the hand file. I don't like how an e-file feels, especially when I'm using my non-dominant hand. So when I do my own nails, I just opt for hand filing through the whole process. Um, initially it was kind of tough because, you know, I was learning product control and, you know, application and stuff like that, but this was super easy. It was a breeze. It was nothing for me to get through filing. I didn't have to do a whole ton of filing. So I've gotten it all file shaped and buffed up and now my nails are all ready for some top coat and to cure. And you guys will see that I am within regulation. Yes, these are very super short sport length nails, but this is all I can do for now. Yeah, I I joined the army when I was 17 under the delayed entry program. It was a few months before my 18th birthday. So in no time, I turned 18 and was able to be sworn in and head off to basic training. I have been in this profession and intend to retire in the next three years. So some of these beautiful nails that you guys see me doing, I will get to do those on myself really soon and I'm super excited. I am most definitely grateful for the opportunities that the Army has afforded me and my family. I met my husband in the Army. We were able to grow this beautiful family, you know, while still on active duty. My husband's out now, but I'm just holding out for my next three years until I can say that I have successfully successfully finished a career and can retire from the military. But I'm using this sensational brand um, top coat that I got from Walmart with the, the chrome powder kit. And again, the regulation states that I can only have clear polish on my nails. So that is what we're doing today. Um, I like these length nails, but I do dream and wish that I could have longer nails. But again, I'll just have to wait. But I'm going to get all these stuff off the edges and that little piece of lint that was hanging off my nail. Um, it was able to come off right after I got it out the lamp. I didn't notice it until then. But I'm going to get all of my nails painted and get them all nice and cured. Y'all, I told y'all my baby's going to be making noise in the background, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, get them all nice and painted and cured. And my military approved, my army approved nails will be ready for your viewing pleasure in a few seconds. <laughs> So it's cuticle oil time. I'm gonna get this cuticle oil around all of my cuticles and a little bit around my fingertips because I have dehydrated them to the max extent. Um, but yeah, I love this cuticle oil because I got it from Five Below. I wanna say it was like three or two dollars that I spent for it and it has rose oil in it and it just smells so absolutely beautiful. But um, I'm just gonna get that done to all of my nails and you guys will see the finished product in a second. Um, 
yeah, these are army nails. This is what we're allowed to do. Um, that regulation, like I said before, AR 670-1 basically tells us our wear and appearance both on and off duty, <laughs> the things we can, how we're supposed to wear our uniform, the things we can wear, you know, when we're wearing civilian clothes on and off installation. There's lots of things that's changed in my 17 year career that, you know, I've seen put into effect and then taken out of effect and, and things like that. Um, but it's been a, a great fun ride. Um, I put that cover blush to kind of mask, you know, I can see some of the areas where I can see that demarcation line from the tips but i put that cover blush to mask it and i felt like it came out pretty good it gives it like a tone of pink in the background and it, it looks pretty good so um i'm happy about how this this product came out how it felt on my nails but you guys i hope you y'all enjoyed you know watching my video i hope you guys learned a little something about the army and how we're supposed to wear our nails and as always i'll most definitely talk to you guys in my next one bye